IECL, we're running innovation challenges. And at this event, we're looking at innovation in women's health. We're bringing together UCL academics and researchers from many different disciplines, as well as SMEs from health tech and femtech organizations. Innovation in women's tech, I think it's going to be really important. It's going to help us move forward, help us bridge the gaps in some of the data that we don't know. And I'm really hoping it will improve women's health over the next few years. It's vital that we have collaboration between medtech and femtech and scientific and medical understanding. So if we can combine these two areas of expertise, then we can be more confident that we're going to deliver really good quality information, evidence-based information to women and push forward. I think there are so many challenges that we need addressing in women's health throughout the life course. So we still need lots more research and lots more high quality data. We're looking at many different aspects of women's health, including menstrual cycles, fertility, and menopause. After this workshop, UCL researchers and academics have an opportunity to apply for a 4,000 pounds grant. They'll be able to look at a certain challenge within women's health by forming a collaboration with an SME. Wonko are building the first science-based personalized nutrition app for women's hormonal health. One of the challenges is the fact that hormonal health is something that is very under-researched. Really enjoyed working with UCL and Berkeley's Eagle Labs over the past weeks. There are some people like myself that have a business background that haven't had access to researchers and haven't conducted studies. With UCL, a collaboration opportunity would be setting up a study and would help us advance the research as a whole with the product. When you're an entrepreneur, often you've come from a corporate background or you've come from a background that isn't related to science or data. You need science and data to give evidence for your new idea. So as a startup, when we first began, we looked for key opinion leaders and healthcare professionals and uh, Joyce Harper at UCL was one of them. And then from there, we had discussions to talk about what research we could do and papers that we could publish to contribute to the field. I think it's really important for academics and health companies to work together because we bring something different to the table. In our particular group we were talking about how academia can help startups and we really shared ideas and hopefully everyone will move forward and we'll set up some collaborations that will do some really excellent research in this area. What's important that we bring as academics is rigour. Is it based on data? Is it based on evidence? Does it really work? Because female hormones are so complicated, we definitely need techniques, technologies to really understand them and also to deliver accessible information and understanding to women 